And he's fired over the corner. Oh, he's done it! Can you believe what we've just seen? Well, just look at this. He couldn't have hit it any better, could he? This is the perfect example of a bicycle kick. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mokwe and on this episode, I'm about to show you two techniques in one video and i would also be making reference to a video i posted a couple of weeks ago and i'm referring to the how to score a corner kick directly into your opponent's goal post video you know when i posted that video it worked a lot and that technique still works but however some people have found a way to block it by keeping their goalkeeper in the goal post and supporting the goalkeeper with like extra players and it makes it a little bit difficult for that technique to work in that instance however i came um with this video so you can know um the alternative to scoring a corner kick when your opponent is that kind of player who i mean is packing the whole goal post with his players and then the goalkeeper so before we go deep into this video kindly do want to smash the like button and also subscribe to this channel because bro we need money hopefully we get to um do our ypp this year with your love and your support like i said earlier on in this video you'll be learning how to score corner kicks and also how to use bicycle kick to score from a corner kick or from a cross and if you missed my video on how to score directly from a corner kick kindly know that at the end of this video i'll be dropping a link and you can just tap on that link to watch that video again thank you very much so to start with the first thing i would like you to know is that if you would like to score with this second alternative i'm about to show you in this video the first thing you would like to do is to go to your custom tactics and head over to the corners over there be sure to make it between three to four bars the reason why i'm saying three to four bars is that between three and four bars or even five you have high amount of players in the opposition's penalty area this increases your chances of scoring with a bicycle kick per the technique i'm about to show you in this video so however always be sure to set the corners to three or four bars mostly i like to use three bars this is because this will make more players be in your opposition's penalty area when you are about to take a corner kick and this will increase your chances of scoring a goal because there may be other alternatives or other players that will be ready to play the ball as soon as you cross it into the penalty area now you can decide to take this corner kick concavely or convexly and by that i mean from inside out or from outside in all you need to do is pick a player that has a good shot power and a good curves these two are very important in scoring or in crossing the ball into your opponent's penalty area however i suggest that you take a player that has a curves of 80 or 85 and above and a player that has a short power of about 90 to like 95 or 85 to 90 is fair after selecting the player you want to use to take this corner kick and also deciding on whether to play it from inside out or from outside in i would show you the technique to use first let's go with the inside out to use the inside out technique all you have to do is to position or aim towards the goalkeeper a little above the goalkeeper or cutting the system box into two this is how you position when you want to use the inside out technique to use the outside in technique or to cross the ball from outside the 18 box into the 18 box all you need to do is to position your aim a little above the penalty kick spot now that you know where to aim or where to position your aim the next thing to do is to cross the ball into the penalty area of your opponent and just like the way you make your normal crosses but this time around you have to fill the cross or short bar to about three and a half bars to be able to reach your target finally after you have successfully crossed the ball or pressed your cross button to cross the ball into your opponent 18 area or 18 box the last thing you need to do is to hold the l2 or the button that you've assigned to always shield the ball this is 
the only way you can be able to score a bicycle kick and score a very nice goal however it will entice you to know that scoring this goal can come in handy and having this in your arsenal is very perfect this is because if you always use the technique i posted earlier on on how to score directly you may use that to score a first goal and you know definitely the second time your opponent is going to come back that hard to protect the ball from entering the pool by sticking the keeper into the goal post and even adding extra players so chances are that if you know this technique and you use the corner to go directly as your first technique to score a first corner second time you can use this technique and your opponent will not be able to read your mind or know that this is what you're about to do i mean especially it works for me because i play most of the time i play online or i play squad battles and i'm like i'm always playing alone so it works very effectively and you should know that direction is very important if the player you are using to play the last ball or the bicycle kick is standing in a position whereby it's too close to the goal post and you feel he might miss you can direct it to the other position of the goal post and you are guaranteed to score a very nice goal kindly let me know if this video has helped you and don't forget to smash the like button and also do want to subscribe to this channel because this year i promise you great content and hopefully we get to do our ypp this year thank you very much for watching this video until then i'll catch you up in my next video and oh i almost forgot holding the l2 after you have crossed the ball into your opponent's goal post or crossed the ball to your player who is situated around your opponent's 18 area or 18 box area it's very effective this year i've scored insane goals using that technique or that skill because the player won't be forced to use their head but they are going to play an overhead kick or a bicycle kick and they end up scoring amazing goals this year for me i have scored few headers and more of bicycle kicks and overhead kicks with crosses and corner kicks and all that thank you very much <laughs> Mother, but no way, no matter.